One topic you're going to need to be familiar with in trigonometry is your limit identities. And a few of these you're just going to need to memorize, and they're going to come up uh, in your material on your exams from time to time. So the two main ones that you need to memorize are that the limit as x approaches 0 of sine x over x is equal to 1. That's probably the one that's most frequently uh, brought up. The other one is the limit as x approaches 0 of cosine x minus 1 over x is equal to 0. These are your main two trig limits. Now I want to show you how using this one you can also get a third uh, identity that you might be asked to show, so, and it's not very difficult. What is the limit as x approaches 0 of tan x over x. Well, if you split tan into sine and cosine, we can get this in the function. So, tangent is sine x over cosine x. So we have that over x. And that cosine x is, come, is going to come to the bottom if you multiply by the reciprocal. So we get sine x over x times cosine x, and we're doing this limit as x approaches 0. You can see here that now we have sine x over x, and we know that sine x over x, that limit is just 1. So we can replace that with 1, and this is the same as if we're doing the limit of 1 over cosine x, because that's all that's remaining in the function. Now, cosine of 0 is 1, because now we can just use our direct substitution because we have no uh, discontinuities anywhere. Cosine of 0 is 1, you get 1 over 1, so you get 1 again. So the limit of tan x over x is also 1. So these three uh, identities are ones you're going to need to just memorize, uh, and they're going to kind of come up pretty frequently on your exams. Now, you should notice that none of these you can really use direct substitution on because you get indeterminate forms like sine 0 over 0 is 0 over 0. That doesn't quite work. Here, cosine of 0 is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0 over 0. We get indeterminate forms. So you're not usually going to have to prove these things, but just knowing these is going to be very helpful for your exam materials.